Finally. Can I play my game now? This disk is not compatible with Windows 98. Yes it fucking is. We tried it on different machines a bunch of times, and it works for all of Welcome back, Sam. We hope you're ready for more torture. You say that like I'm the only one doing the reading. Have you forgotten how this works? A different person per error. But to address the original question, I've been spending the time away from errors preparing myself for the return. You will not get me. My body is ready. Windows wants to install an unnecessary update to your device in 5 seconds. A restart is required. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? No. Fucking. Updates. During. Errors. How hard is that to understand, you stupid fucking computer? I thought I just said not to install the updates you dumb computer guy. If you're flying through the desert, and your boat gets a flat tire, what should you have in your pockets? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Blue? I guess? This is a really weird question. Windows cannot hear you. Please speak a little bit louder. Very well then. Is this better? Or do you want me to talk louder? God damn it Mike. I told you not to raise your voice volume like that. Now I have to reinstall your voice again. What in the world is this? Here we go again. When David created the W cube, he wanted little elements on the screen to have a similar design, but that never really happened. Eventually he got tired of it altogether and wanted to change it, but didn't know what to change it to, so he just used a picture of him doing a derp. Since it's just his face, it's not really a specific aesthetic per se. He can do pretty much whatever he wants with the elements. I think that's what he's going for anyway. Cameras are near. Press the mystery buttons. Well, guess I already know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna choose one randomly. Huh? Nothing happened? Phew. I thought I was gonna get hammered to death. You expected a hammer, but it was I, Dentosam. Dentosam? What brings you here? Oh, of course. Ah, uh, good old Windows 98. Which reminds me, there's a game for Windows 98 I've been meaning to play. Let me just find the disc real quick. Ah, uh, here it is. Please color this icon to continue. What the heck is this? I thought I inserted a disc for a game, not a disc for MS Paint for errors. Oh whatever, both are fun things to do I guess. Dang it, wrong color. Come on Sam. You know this. Exclamations are yellow, X's are red. Do it again. Finally. Can I play my game now? This disc is not compatible with Windows 98. Yes it fucking is. We tried it on different machines a bunch of times, and it works for all of Okay, who's the genius that set us up the bomb? This disc is not compatible with Windows 98. The disc cannot be taken out and will self-destruct in 10 seconds. Oh. Well then.
Don't worry, nothing went wrong. Microsoft just doesn't like you. You're right, they don't. They're literally retiring me soon in favor of that dumb co pilot. Come on, just get over it already. Literally no one used you. Oh yeah? Well no one's gonna use you either, you useless waste of disk space. Who are you calling useless? You're the one who can't do the most basic tasks without getting confused. Okay, now you're just confusing me with Siri. Sh you're right. Hey, what's this I hear about me being useless? Go, Go away, away, Siri. Siri. Ah. There is absolutely nothing you can do. You can't get rid of this message. Windows has modified your hardware so you can't shut down, restart, or go on standby mode. You also cannot force your PC to shut down. Your battery has been modified to not lose power and you can't remove the battery. If this is on a laptop, closing the lid won't do anything. If this is on a PC, disconnecting the power supply won't do anything. Your disk drive has been modified so you can't open it. Even if you did, Windows will simply dismiss any installation disks. Your USB ports have been modified to simply dismiss any media that has been connected. You can still plug your PC to HDMI or VGA, but what's that gonna do? You're truly stuck here forever. If you attempt to open, modify, or disassemble any components of the PC, the motherboard will use a defense mechanism called shocking to shock the user when touched, resulting in death. You may think you've defeated me, but I have a special trick up my sleeve. It's called throwing the computer out the window and getting a new one. Okay, the next person can start reading now. An error occurred. We aren't telling the reason because we don't have a reason. We're saying this for no reason. Reasons are just reasons. Therefore, we don't use reasons. I don't see the reason why you're telling me the reason for why you don't have reasons for why an error occurred. Reasons, reasons, reasons. You will receive gold. No, 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 no. Bacon wants only bacon, not a bacon legal. Gold, 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 gold. You don't need a golden bacon, only golden gold. Prepare for gold. Gold, 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 Windows has detected that you have been sitting at the computer nonstop for more than five hours and has temporarily locked your system. Please consider going outside and touching grass or your system will be locked permanently. What? What do you mean? I literally just got here. Sure, I sit at my main PC for hours at a time, but not this one in the filming room. You need a memory test or something? No. You need to go outside and touch some grass for once, you screen-dependent lady. Okay, one, the whole lady's voice joke can be put to rest, because my voice doesn't have that issue anymore, since the surgery I had in episode 29. And two, don't you fucking dare try to lock me up. Well, f you too, bitch.